All right, so my boy MD Breck asked today on my stream if I could do an OU live with Typhlosion or if I could use it in Road to Rank 1. Now, I thought Typhlosion was a really cool Pokemon, right? Uh, just because it has the same stats as Charizard, which means it has base 100 um, speed and it has a pretty decent special attack stat. And obviously, it does have Eruption and has access to Flash Fire and whatnot. But I wasn't about to use it on the Road to Rank 1 without testing this boy out. So I put together a pretty quick team. I'm going to show y'all real quick this replay. Sorry about to smack my mic. I'm going to show y'all real quick this replay. But I want to use Specs Typhlosion. That was 100%. That was I want to use Specs Typhlosion. So I got Glare Zygarde. I got Static Discharge Zapdos. A few Pokemon like that. And, and then I wanted like some Breakers and Metacham, uh, Z-Lando, whatnot, Bulu, so I don't use the Greninja. I know the team is ridiculously Ice Week. I know, I can see it. It was a test build. I want to try it out. Now, this is the first battle I got on the ladder. This is the first battle I got on the ladder. And this guy had the perfect team. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, like, mwah, like, type of beautiful. Because I ran Calx while I was building with Spec Typhlosion. I know for a fact that Eruption blows back Kiram. Uh, it's going to blow back. Tapu Koko, Keldon's gonna get two a kill, Karen's gonna get two a kill, so I mean, y'all gonna see a little bit of Typhlosion work in this one. So let's start it off. So I lead off with Typhlosion because he has a Kieran Black, which beats my entire team besides this thing and Metacham. So I lead off with it, and that means I get to click Specs Eruption immediately. He goes Keldio 63%. So of course, I'm gonna switch up the top of Boulder right here. Don't know if he has Scald, Hydro Pump, or whatever. Throws off a Scald. I don't get burnt. Doesn't really matter if I got burnt because Bulu would always check Keldio anyway. Now, Bulu obviously invites in Kieran Black or Jirachi. Or even uh, potentially Mandibuzz. So I go back on spec, uh, Specs Typhlosion. Go for the eruption again. He brings out Camera. Even with the grassy terrain recovery and the uh, buff from the Mega Specs Eruption, able to 2 it, KO it. Not bad. So that's one kill for Specs Typhlosion. Chalk that up. So Kalio comes out. I'm going to go Zapdos as opposed to going out to Bulu just in case he had I, uh, um, HP poison. Also, don't want to get Skull Burn. He goes for Icy Wind. And I'm like, okay, this is no risk. I'm going to double right out into Typhlosion one more time. Uh, if he goes for Icy Wind again, whatever, I still have five. Fire Blast, which is incredibly strong, and still two at Kyo slash Oko's everything. Uh, he might go out to cure him, so he goes out to cure him. Black Specs Eruption picks up another KO. Easy, easy, easy kill for Typhlosion. So now he's gonna bring out uh, Keldio again. I'm gonna go out into Zapdos, and he goes for Hydro Pump. I live it. I'm assuming this boy is Scarf at this point. So because he went for Hydro Pump, not Scald, I'm actually gonna go out into Bulu. And uh, once again, I'm gonna double, but this time I gotta be a little bit safe, right? I've already doubled enough. He might just stand and go for a double Hydro Pump expecting Typhlosion. So I pull the safe double, which is Zapdos, right? This covered the Jirachi switching, which I could roost on potentially, or the stay in with Keldeo. But then I bring out my Bulu one more time, and I'm gonna double raw into my Typhlosion once again because Jirachi should definitely come out. And at this point, I click Eruption again. Keldeo is at 62%, which means it's in range of Eruption. He brings right back out Keldeo. I'm gonna go out to Metacham because Metacham does nothing in this game. Uh, whereas Lando could potentially earthquake this thing, sack it as I'm gonna be able to bring out my uh, my Bulu one more time. And at this point, uh, I'm actually gonna go off a leech seed, or excuse me, I'm gonna throw off a horn leech because you know I, I can't I can't double at that point. Uh, it's not worth it since I don't even kill it with eruption at that point anyway. But he goes up to Caldeo as I go for leech seed right here. He probably expected me to go out into either Lando or Typhlosion just raw on that. But I go for Leech Seed and I get the recovery. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful recovery I need from Leech Seed to put Caldeo in range of eruption. So there's no way he stays in, right? He either goes for Icy Wind, which is a bad play anyway because Typhlosion is not going to do anything. Or he doubles back out of Mandibus because that's the best switch and he has to boo. So I double, or I, I switch rather, hard into my Typhlosion. I'm going to click Specs Eruption. Coco is going to come out and chop. That's another kill. That's another kill for Specs Typhlosion. I'm, I, there's a theme in this battle, if you guys ever realize. So he brings out Keldeo. I don't want to give him Grassy Terrain Recovery. So I'm actually going to go out to my Lando and sack it. Uh, because this also means I could bring out big old Zygarde, eat the Scald, and basically get off a pair, whether it be on either Keldeo or Amanda Buzz. And at this point, I could just throw off a thousand arrows to guarantee him in range of uh, in range of Fire Blast as well as Eruption. I only have two Eruptions left at this point, though, so uh, I can't necessarily click it to win just yet. But he brings out Amanda Buzz, no big deal. I'm going to go for another thousand arrows, trying to sack it, because I want to bring out my big boy Typhlosion and do what this guy's been doing the entire game click a button and get a kill. I glare Mandibuzz though, of course. Kind of paralyze this boy. Why not, man? More odds for Typhlosion hitting Fire Blast, more odds for Eruption. And we'll just go for them Thousand Arrows as foul play is going to be uh, not a 2 KO on me. As you, oh, actually, it is a 2 KO on me. Excuse me. After the burn, it's a 2 KO on me. Him getting full para doesn't really matter. As you can see, it's a 2 KO. So because uh, it's more likely he'll roost and then go for foul play, I actually go for Coil here just to have a little bit stronger uh, hit off on this Mandibuzz. And 
what that would ensure is that Typhlosion might be able to KO it. So I do 13%. He's going to knock me out with foul play. Of course, we're going to bring out the man, the myth, the legend, Typhlosion right here. Going to go for a Spectrum Rub. He lives on 1%. 1%. But he gets full paralyzed, and this is my last eruption. Unfortunately, if he didn't live on 1%, Typhlosion got every single kill in this game. Now, I go Bulu. Uh, I'm kind of trying to sack. He only had 400 pumps left, so I was kind of trying to sack Bulu to then bring out Typhlosion and get the last kill, extra sensory. Uh, but, yeah, there was a little theme in this battle. Obviously, I was only like 1,500, 1,600 in this battle. It was, it was mid ladder, but come on, man. Typhlosion put a lot of work. And honestly, it either had to be Typhlosion or Zard Y. Those were the only two fire types that could do this to my opponent because of their speed tier. But I'm glad that it was Typhlosion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see something like this with other Pokemon. I might not do full-on showdown lives, but I'm always up for trying new things. And stuff like this where I actually get to show a Pokemon that has that may have a niche in the tier um, is so cool. Uh, just for your info, Specs Typhlosion's Extra Sensory is a 2 KO on Toxapex. Uh, and it's a guaranteed 2 KO off the rocks as well. It's a bit of Toxapex. So... Uh, that's really cool. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed some Typhlosion action. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.